In this lesson, you'll learn one of the most important Joomla concepts, menus. In Joomla, menus provide two functions. They create a page and control the layout of the page. In this lesson, I'll explain how to display your article on your site using menus. With a traditional website, you use navigation menus to link to pages. But menus provide two functions in Joomla. They link to a new page and instruct the page how one or more articles should appear. Let's look at two possibilities, adding a link to an existing menu and creating a new menu from scratch. Have a look at the front end of the sample Joomla site. Let's add a menu item, that is a link, to the article we created earlier in this main menu. Log into Administrator and click the Menus menu followed by Main menu. The main menu appears displaying the current links. Click the New button and then next to Menu Item Type, click the Select button. You'll see that there are various link types that can be created, but you'll mostly use the options listed under Articles. To create a menu item that links to a single article, click Single Article. The pop-up window closes and you're returned to the Menu Item Entry page. Enter a title for the link. Then in the right column, choose the appropriate article by clicking the Select slash Change button. A pop-up window appears displaying all of the articles. If it is difficult to find the appropriate article, you can use the filter options at the top as demonstrated in the previous lesson. Click the title of the article and you're returned to the main window. That's all the settings that need to be entered, so finish by clicking Save and Close. Jump over to the front end and refresh the page. You can see that the link has been added and when I click on it, the article appears. The second method you need to learn is creating a menu from scratch instead of simply adding a link to an existing menu. Once again, start at the Joomla Administrator and go to the Menus menu and click the Menu Manager button. You'll see a list of the current menus. Now click New and enter a name. You also need to enter a reference that is used by Joomla, and this should contain no spaces. Finally, if you end up with several menus, then you might find it handy to include a description to help you remember what is contained in each menu. Click Save and Close, and you'll see that the new menu has been added to the bottom of the list. The next step is to create a menu item that lives inside the new menu, as was done before. Go to Menus, choose the newly created menu, Our Articles, and in this case, save a step by choosing the next option here, Add New Menu Item. Click Select, choose Single Article, and enter a title. In the right column, click Select slash Change and choose the appropriate article. Click Save and Close. Now go to the front end and refresh the page you'll notice that nothing's changed. Let's just recap what we did. The menus that came pre-installed with Joomla are here. They've already been assigned to positions in the template. 
and there are various links in each menu. If you add a link to an existing menu then that will work fine, but when you create a new menu it needs to be assigned to a position in the template. In the earlier lesson about the front end, I explained that there are different elements on a Joomla page, one of which are modules that provide certain functionality. Menus are in fact a type of module, so when you want to display a new menu on your site, you need to firstly create the menu functionality, as you've just seen demonstrated, but then also create a module and assign the module to a position. You will learn that step in the next lesson, which is all about Joomla modules. You now understand one of the trickier Joomla concepts. Another tricky feature to grasp is Joomla users. This is an optional feature that you might like to explore once you have an understanding of the basics. Our Joomla Pro course explains what a user is and how to protect your content so that only registered users can see it. Head over to our site now to learn more about this and the other tutorials included in our amazing Joomla Pro training. Just click the link or button that appears on this page.